Okay, so let's talk about releases. So we talked already about how to monitor the progress on a, on a release. Um, let's go ahead and go through the process of finishing a release and tagging a release. So what we're gonna do is um, we were a little bit over ambitious with our uh, version 1.0.0. Um, so this was gonna be our minimal viable product. Um, and we're actually about 73% of the way done. So what I'm gonna do so that we can show you the process of um, finishing a release and tagging it is we're gonna create a release called 0 0.73. All right, and so it's, it's just a convention, you know, based on the fact that that's about, you know, how far along we estimate we are uh, till we get to this uh, first release that is feature complete and uh, has no remaining bugs of significance. So let's go ahead into the releases area. And let's create a release called 0 0.73. And um, it starts and ends today. And we'll just, we can put any um, notes here to say uh, the general purpose of this release. Um, we could say for this one, about 73% done with the MVP. Um, just a couple remaining issues and features to add. All right, so there it is. Um, so let's go ahead into our active sprint and we will bulk change all the tickets that are in the done status to uh, be applicable to this version 0.73. So this way it can also show you how to bulk change tickets. Um, so you just click on the first one and it'll pop up. We're gonna have to close it. Then we hold down the shift key and select the last one. So now we've got them all highlighted. We can right click and do a bulk change. And we're going to edit. And we're gonna change the fixed version. So we're gonna add it to an existing version. And we're gonna add it to 0.73. Because previously they were 1.0.0. And we'll confirm that all these tickets are going to be changed and it'll go through and tell us the the progress and when it's done we can acknowledge that and go back to releases all right so nothing's going to look different on our sprint board um, releases are different from um, sprints but in releases, now we're gonna have both releases. And if we click on version 0.73, it's gonna look perfect. It's gonna be 100% done. All systems go, we're ready to release. So um, we will go ahead and release it. And you put today's date. You could have added any release notes that um, that you needed to. So any breaking changes, environment changes required by this release, et cetera. All right, so now it's released. So what we need to do now is um, use git to tag the repo at, at this place in time. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is create a pull request to pull the testing branch into the main branch. So we go to pull requests and let's get this out of the way. Uh, we'll create a pull request. 
All right. And so it's actually already filled it in for us. We are going to um, merge the testing branch into the master branch. And what that means for our environments is our live environment is set to the master branch. Our test environment is set to the testing branch. So in effect, what we're doing is um, we are going to do so in effect, what we're doing is we're saying, okay, you know, what's on testing right now? Let's deploy it live. So there's going to be a lot of, for this release in particular, there are a ton of things in here. And so we're going to put them all on the master branch. So the senior reviewer is going to do this um, and go ahead and create that testing branch. All right, so here is this humongous, uh, all right, so here is this humongous pull request. Um, so we're gonna say, okay, go ahead and merge. And it's not doing anything. Okay, and so we're here's this humongous pull request. So we're going to say merge. And there we go. All right, so after a lot of processing, since this was such a big merge, um, it's now merged into the main branch. And since there's a, a back-end repo, which we just did, and a front-end repo, I will go ahead and do the same thing on the front-end. And then we'll talk about how to use Git to tag these versions. Okay, so to tag the release in Git, um, what we wanna do is we wanna tag the commit in which we merge testing into main. So here's this commit for the back end. Um, so you can note the, the commit name. Okay, so we want to tag this commit in which we merge testing into main. Um, and so here, what we do is git tag, and we do the dash A to do an annotated tag, um, and then the version number, and then this commit. After we ran that git tag command, what we want to do is do a git push to push the tag up to the repo. Okay, so we want to go into this commit, uh, the one in which we just merge testing into the main branch and add a tag. So our tag is going to be version 0.73. Right, so now when we look at our list of commits, we are gonna see the tag there. And so we want to um, also do the same thing on the front end side. And um, that's how we indicate releases, uh, both in Jira, as I already showed you, as well as in Bitbucket. And this is, and this is so important in terms of communicating with customers, um, as well as keeping track of what you have on your different environments. Um, so if you have different environments where your software is running, um, you should have a place where you keep track of you know, which version is deployed where. And so Jira is again a great tool for release management because when you go to releases and you have it show um, the released as well as unreleased versions, now you can go to an existing release and see exactly which tickets were in that release. Um, so you can click on the issues in version and see everything that went into this release. Uh, so this will help you so much in communicating internally and externally um, about you know, what, what went into each release and any changes that need to be made accordingly. 
And finally, another thing Jira will do is it basically creates your release notes for you. If you click on release notes here, it will list the different types of issues that went into this release. And it divides them up by, you know, whether it was an epic that was completed, a bug, tasks. Um, and here it creates something you can copy if you need to make a document um, from your release notes. 